Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. That's right, this is two weeks after the 1st of April, which was April Fool's Day. They released a little game called Totally Accurate Battle Zombulator, and they said that Tabs, this game, was cancelled. Well, I mean, it was April Fool's joke, and there every sign was pointing to it being an April Fool's joke. But I did want to clear that up, since a lot of you guys said that it's not an April Fool's joke, and they're actually canceling the game. They're not doing that. You don't believe anything that happens on the internet on April 1st. That's just something that you don't believe. Anyway, uh, we've got a lot of really cool clips here today. The developers have been working super hard on, on the game. I just want to say that straight up. They've been going to a lot of shows. Uh, met one of the guys at PAX when I was there, and I know they went to the the GDC, the Game Developers Conference. They've been they've been putting in a lot of time and making a really really solid game. So uh, it, it's always good. I always appreciate it when a developer sits back and they'll take months to develop a game. Some games release way, way, way too early, and then it's just a buggy, buggy mess, and then by the time the game is good, nobody cares to play it anymore because they're already burnt out on the buggy mess that happened in the previous months. So I, I really do respect a lot of developers that'll take that additional six or eight or 10 or 12 months to develop their game the way it should be, rather than pushing out a game for money. And I really think that's what these guys are doing. Uh, Landfall seems to be really on top of what they're doing. Uh, they are, understand the whole indie market and the whole indie game situation. And it is, it's is—it's probably going to be a very solid, probably one of the best games of 2017. Uh, that's what I see. Probably one of the top selling indie games of 2017, if I had to guess. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today, is we're going to take a look at some more clips that they pushed out. And I just wanted to clear the ice and say, hey, you know what, guys? It's not canceled. They're still working on it, but they've been super busy building the game and haven't got many update videos out, which is why I haven't been making many updates either. So the first thing we have today is this fantastic contraption. We already saw a little bit of clip of this. This is the wheelbarrow tank, and it is part of the, I forget which faction, like the farmer faction, I think it is. We'll see. Uh, every, I mean, we're still really early in development, so all of the factions are still kind of up in arms. So we, we're not quite positive, but I love this guy. You can see uh, the little tomato or apple that he had out there. And they're rolling in with a wheelbarrow full of corn and their pitchforks. They throw it at the peasants. And they hit them in the head, and stab them with a pitchfork. There comes another one in the farmers, dominating, and dominating, dominating. I love it. This one's so cool. I just love this game and, and how the physics interact with it. You can see the corn flying over the guy's head, the wheelbarrow tipping over, and the guys falling out. Just, that's so cool to me. I just love it. Uh, so the next thing we have is a little bit of a loading screen with some new music for this. So check this out. That beautiful map. We got new guys with wooden shields on there. These guys have little backpacks on, little fanny pack like my grandma, and then hacking and slashing with little spears. This is the channel, or the trailer, for the brand new faction, which is the Stone Age faction. We haven't really seen too much of those before. Ooh, look at that, rocks flying in. We got the, the stones or the bones coming out of the ground from the shaman. This guy's got two axes, he's dual wielding. We've seen some dual wielding in the past. Ooh, the woolly mammoth We're using his big tusks going back and forth. Oh, <laughs> the dude just got bonked on the head by a rock that was thrown. So let's look at this one more time going through, and then I'm going to slow down and we're going to break it into uh, individual scenes and kind of get an understanding of what's going on. Look at the different units at it. So these guys are really cool. I love the shield and we have some spearmen behind it. That's that's pretty cool. I love the, the new textures. They look so much more defined than what we've seen before too. Even the shields look actually wooden. This guy looks cool with his little bracelets and necklaces on. These guys are getting hit. They've got waistbands on, something we've not seen before. Look at him with the, the necklace with the bones on it. Really, really, really cool. And we got the, the woolly mammoth going through. Now, I would like to see the woolly mammoth in a snow biome, but we'll probably see that too. So let's break this down. All right, guys, so the first thing that we see are these beautiful trees. These are aspen trees, it looks like to me, or birch trees. And you got the little shrubs on the ground. We've got the grasses going through. This is totally different. There's even the rocks on the side. Totally different than what we've seen in the past with tabs. Usually it's just like a stock blank map, just a, a ground, and then that's it. And now we have actual color. We have life. We have different things going on in the background, different color palettes, almost like that Japan map that we've had in the past that looks very similar to this or in, in my way anyway uh, it looks it looks similar there there's character and definition to it I really 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 like the way this map looks and this is only one of the new ones who knows how many more they've made really really awesome 
So the next thing we've got is this little clip. And now these guys look like there's two different units here. In the front, we've got the Shieldmen. And then right behind those are the Stone Age Spearmen. Um, we'll get a couple little clips of those in the future. But just check it out. we got this uh, still screen here. we got it, it looks like a log with just a, <laughs> a hole cut into it that these guys are holding up. Now, we do have the original Shieldmen. And look at just the texture difference on these. How much more defined and how much more textured it is rather than just a stock shield. They have been working really, really hard on making some really nice textures and really nice units. And actually, that guy on the right side there, look at his look at his mask. He's got, looks like a bone mask on him with a, a bone plate on his right shoulder. Looks really cool. So next up on the list are these guys on the left side. These are probably what I'm going to call the berry pickers. And I did talk to the developers of it, and that was kind of their dream, that you start the game in the campaign. You'll start the game as just a little berry picker and his job is just to go around picking berries and then he gets raided in this case he gets raided by an army with shields uh, wooden shields and then the spearmen in the back with a little flint a little flint arrows in it pretty cool little guy i like that i do like uh the main thing i like there is the backpack and and how or not a backpack but we have the like the belt on and then there's something hanging on behind the belt. We haven't really seen that in any of the traditional units that we've played with so far. So these next ones here we have, looks like the like the Spearmen, the Stone Age Spearmen against the Stone Age Spearmen. These guys are kind of cool. I'm guessing this is going to be the main warrior of this faction. Now you can see these guys are holding their spear, the, the crooked staff almost. It's not quite a straight straight stick and they also have some some interesting things like the uh the armor on their arms and they're also wearing a loincloth too so really cool i like how that is uh, i like how it's more detailed than just a unit type uh just the weapon that they have we're actually getting some character on these guys now this goes way into a new battle now this battle introduces also these guys on the far right side you can see the ones with the antlers i'm guessing these are going to be another warrior type you can see they have two hatchets in their hands and a dual wielding hatchet axeman something like that but they do have that stag helmet on with that the armor plates on their shoulders so they're more probably more of an advanced user or advanced guy than the uh the regular spearman is going to be so maybe like maybe getting into the next tier or one of the heavier units of it not quite not quite the the main infantry unit but something that can still do a lot of damage uh, I kind of like those guys too, and that goes into the next unit, which is the Shaman. I'm going to call it the Shaman because he looks like a ritualistic guy. He's got feathers and he's got the, the heads on there. Even the head on his staff has the little tabs googly eyes. I think that's hilarious. But this guy also casts a spell and throws the leaves back. I'm guessing this spell is going to be uh, like bones or rocks or your teeth coming out of the ground that devours everyone in its path. Look at that. Can you imagine having an army of like 50 of these guys going against, say, a tank or <laughs> something like that maybe one of the the uh what is da vinci tank with the bone spurs coming up i think that'll be fun we'll have to see how everything's balanced that's going to be the biggest uh feat i think for landfall is to they can make all these really awesome units but how are they going to be balanced against each other and since these guys are stone age are these stone age guys going to be powerful against like a medieval age or even a modern age i don't know uh, we'll have to see. Is this guy, is our shaman here, is he going to be a super unit that's extremely rare and really, really hard to beat? We're going to have to find that out uh, when we get our hands on the full game. It's going to be so much fun, though, to blast up a huge army of shamans against anything else that comes in his path. This next guy I'm just going to leave as a still frame because we can pretty much see everything he has to offer. This is that dual-wielding axeman. He's got that stag helmet on. He's got the armor on his shoulders. I'm guessing that armor, armor vests and stuff are going to show how much uh, damage they can take so he looks more powerful he looks a little more menacing than the other units that we've seen i do see those reeds in the background that background color is super nice too it is so refreshing to see bright colors in a game and that's why i picked this up you see the the contrast of the blue that the unit is with the orange on the trees i just love it and the, even the lighting is good like it, it feels like a mid-afternoon in the fall you could almost put yourself there in the forest i just it's really really cool to me now this next scene has a lot to take in for First off, we see these bone spurs coming in the background and the little googly-eyed monster staring up like, what just happened? Oh, that's awesome. We got the Axemen coming over here on the side. And uh, look in the background. So this is the most important thing I have to say in this little clip is the background that's already passed here. We'll, we'll go through it again. Those guys in the background are throwing rocks, almost like a slingshot unit, you'd think. Uh, they're throwing the rocks in and they're 
sculpting, and they seem to do some pretty good damage. We can't really tell how much damage they do because of these bone spikes, but look at those rocks coming in, hitting the guys in the head. Pretty good accuracy. A uh, slingshot unit, maybe? I'm not so sure. Let me know what you guys think those rock throwers are in the background. Maybe it's just a straight up rock thrower. Who knows? It could be, because they're, they're Stone Age, they don't really have the technology. So that's kind of cool. We see kind of everything working together here, all the different units. All right, guys, so the next thing we've got is, I mean, obviously it's the Woolly Mammoth. We can see the shield almost has some green on it. Looks like leaves first off. Then we see the, the Woolly Mammoth. We've seen this guy before, but just watch him in battle, like in a real battle. We've got the shamans and axemen in the back. The tusks just flinging everyone to the sides. Look at the X's on his eyes, the red guy's eyes. Those look a lot different to me than what we've seen in the past. Flinging up the bodies, really cool unit. I want to play with this guy so much. So the last battle in this trailer is upon us. I haven't really seen too many things. Sometimes the developers, they're sneaky and they like to hide like something special, something hidden in here. I don't really see anything that we haven't seen already, so I'm just going to play it this time. Play it again. We do see it inside of the berry bush, or berry basket there. Just brown. And nothing too crazy out of it. Ooh, that guy gets hit over the head, and then he gets hit in the head with a rock. That's really awesome. Uh, this must be that shaman. Then we have the tomahawk guys with their, their double hatchets going in to attack. We also have the guy with the spears who gets killed by the ground teeth and the shaman teeth. I don't know what it is, but I'll tell you what, guys. We're going to run through this one more time real speed just to see uh, the whole thing once again, and then we're going to wrap it up for the video. But I've had a lot of fun with this, uh, and I cannot wait for the developers to uh, put out this game fully. Uh, it's gonna be a fantastic game. I really do like it. And this just basically wraps everything up and says, we've been working on the game, this is how awesome it's going to be, and I hope you guys are as excited for it as we are. That's what the developers are telling me for this video. That's what it looks like exactly to me. And I hope you guys are just as excited as well. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, let me know, and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.